Welcome back to Project 94 for another diecast review here on the channel and we are back with another 2023 model. It is Brad Kislowski and his 2023 Kings Hawaiian Slider Sunday Ford Mustang number no. 6 for RFK Racing's Brad Kislowski. A very cool paint scheme. This is different from last year because last year there was a bit of dark blue on it or just some blue on it. It's still a matte finish. But overall, just a more simple paint scheme. Color-wise, it's just white and orange and gold. A little bit of gold on there. So they got rid of the blue. Um, which I'm kind of sad they got rid of the blue. Because now that means we just have a normal chrome number instead of the blue chrome number from last year. But nonetheless, it's a pretty nice paint scheme. It's something different. They wanted to change the paint scheme for 2023. And they did. Here's the box. Of course, Brad Kislowski. The Kings Hawaiian Rolls. Ford Mustang for 2023 season. So Brad Kozlowski fans are going to continue to get some pretty cool paint schemes. This is definitely one of them because of it's got that chrome number. These cars are $12 now, like almost $12, $13 bucks because of the chrome numbers. So the price increase, um, so the chrome numbers do affect the price of the die cast, unfortunately. Like, I, that sucks because I remember years ago getting the Paul Menard Authentics car which had chrome numbers, and it cost the same as all the other cars. So, yeah, that's just part of inflation, I guess, because it costs more to put a chrome number on the car. Does not make very much sense to me. But without further ado, let's get this die cast out of the box and ready to be reviewed. And it is a matte finish, right? Yep, it is a matte finish. Here it is, out of the box. And that's got to be one of my favorite parts of this car. It's got it's a matte finish, which makes the colors look interesting. And of course, it has the chrome number. So, and look what the chrome number does to the camera. I mean, look at that. Wow, that is shiny. So here on the front of this thing, you got number six RFK. You got the Ford Mustang front end. You have Ford right there. On the hood, you have Kings Hawaiian with the hood vents, which. Man, the hood vents just get in the way of these hood logos, man. I'm not really the biggest fan of these hood vents, as you guys probably already know. I mean, honestly, if I was making the die cast, I would probably put the hood vents on there, but I would, like, just lighten up the contrast, because look at the way it just covers up the H and the N in Hawaiian. Not a big fan of that, but... Nonetheless, you have the King's Hawaiian logo, sort of like a crown-looking logo, with, like, some leaves, which is kind of interesting. Um, you have Ford in blue right there with Kozlowski. You have the number six. You got six Sunoco right there. You have yellow Goodyears on the wheels and on the fenders with the dark gray rims. NASCAR Cup Series, the 75th anniversary logo for NASCAR. You have number six right there. You have Brad Kozlowski with the American flag. Ford, you have Kings Hawaiian and what does that say? Violet Defense, Castrol Edge. You have Kings Hawaiian, Mac Tools, Siemens, and... Is that a Doosan logo or something else? I'm not sure what that logo is. I can't read it. Slider Sunday, you got Fastenal and Castrol Edge right there. On the back, you have Kings Hawaiian, number six in orange. Got RFK, and you're going to have the Ford license plate with the 2023 sticker on it. You have Slider Sunday on the deck lid, so that seems to be the special part of this paint scheme is just the Slider Sunday uh, logos on it, which I do not believe was on last year's car. Correct me if I'm wrong. You have Kozlowski and, of course, the number six on the roof. So, for this paint scheme, it's spray-painted a matte orange, which looks super cool on it. It looks bright. I really like the way this King's Hawaiian car looks with that. The number's going to have a fool's gold. Is that a fool's gold or a gray? looks like it's trying to be a gold color. Um, yeah, so you got a gold outline, a white shadow outline with an orange number fill-in, kind of the same orange that's on the rest of the car. On the doors, you have a white, sort of like a dark orange outline to it as well. A white shadow, a black shadow, another thin white outline, and the chrome number fill-in right there. So the chrome numbers definitely help these RFK cars stand out on the racetrack. Um, the front's going to have the white number six, and on the back, it's going to have the orange. Of course, black splitter, black roof rails, and black splitter, and then the spoiler, of course. Of course, you got the biofuel logo right there and the black side skirts. So for the paint scheme itself, you're going to start out all orange in the front right there. Of course, you're going to have three of the Kings of Wine logo right there. A bit of a, well, no, nah, it's just the way the Sunoco logo came out. But you got three of the little crown logos. 
Then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the A pillar right there. Then you're gonna have, of course, the side design of the RFK cars, the Kozlowski pillar stripes on the side in gold with the white backdrop behind it. So the gold stripe is gonna outline this area where the stripes are, nicely frames the contingency sponsors with the three pillars. And of course, that gold stripe on the top, and of course, the longer stripe right there coming out of the first pillar. It's going to go all the way around on the sides, through the wheel well, on the quarter panel, uh, through the back bumper, and all the way to the other side. I really wish the gold on here was metallic instead of just this flat fool's gold like style to it. When you look at it, it's nor like, like a normal print. It's like you're trying to print gold, but it's just not coming out gold. There's no metallic to it. It's just a flat gold. Doesn't look terrible, but I do wish it was metallic, those stripes, just to make it stand out a little bit more on the matte finish. But the white fill-in definitely helps it stand out. Pretty much goes, highlights the bottom portion of the rear. As you can see, the bumper right there, the stripes wrap on it pretty nicely. And on the top of this car, you're going to have the white, all white roof with the number. And of course, you're going to have the logos again. One, two, three, four, five, six of that logo in orange. And it's how fitting is that? Number six. And of course, you have six of that logo. How fitting is that? Um, but yeah, other than that, not much else to talk about on this paint scheme. I do like it, though. It does stand out. The color, particularly the color of the orange is very nice, especially with the matte finish. Um, I remember TJ Majors bringing up that he liked it, this paint scheme. And, you know, that's cool because he's the spotter of this car. And it's it's a bonus when you're a spotter and you like your paint scheme. And it'll make you that much easier to spot on the racetrack. So here's the front of this car. Here's the hood. Here's the right side of this car. The close-up of it, here's the right side, looking pretty nice and sharp. Here's the back of this die cast. Here is the deck lid. Here's the roof and top profile of this die cast. Here's the left side, which is the same as the right side. Very, very cool. I like the chrome numbers, definitely helps it stand out. And of course, the under tray of this next-gen Ford Mustang right here. And that's going to be it for Brad Kieslowski and his 2023 Kings Hawaiian Ford Mustang for RFK Racing. Another cool RFK car with chrome numbers on there. And be aware, the price does increase when you have chrome numbers, sadly. Um, so I did have to pay extra for this car, but hopefully it was worth it for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this die cast review. Comment, like, and subscribe, and please share these videos with your friends and family so you can have some more followers here on Project 94. Comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video here on Project 94. And always remember to make sure you know what you're doing when you're putting decals on your diecasts.